final attempt. Here we go. They used to do it in Colombia. View some of the old news pictures and research it. However, I believe it was Syntex and or C4 Dynamite, which is easily obtained by the cartel. Do I believe the truck bomb that did the damage on Oklahoma City Murray building? Yes. If it was constructed correctly, according to what I've studied, it was. Nitromethane makes a whole lot more of a difference than fuel oil. McVeigh knew what he was doing and how to make it. Hell, he was military trained. They taught him. This is why you see paid mercenaries. They are control. They, the controllers, grab them up anymore and pay them well. It keeps them on their side. Dick Cheney, what's his place called? Carlisle Group. Just one of many, almost 5,000 pounds of explosives in that truck. Just look at the World Trade Center bombing, bombing 1993. That was urea bomb or fertilizer. <clears throat> but made mixed by a person or persons that knew what they were doing. I keep trying to emphasize 1963, November 2nd, JFK hit a coup d'etat, inserts an illegal government's been running that way ever since. I disagree with that part. Uh, the people are mad, obviously. They are not stupid. But the other side owns the media, and herein lies the problem that they have infiltrated after the hit and have gone after global domination. Certain people stand in the way of the, and that's when BS occurs, what people call false flags. Fake news, basically just propaganda. The media is not going to tell you anything, but everyone believes them when, in fact, the only people they that believe are the people making up the propaganda fundy how things work. Now, <clears throat> got that done in a minute and a half. I'm going to come back and talk about that one. Let's get these done. No, I'll just cover it now. I disagree with one of the points entirely. I don't believe in the idea of a false or illegal government so that we have justification for blah, 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 blah. Just, just stop voting for either party. Get rid of both parties. That's my opinion. And vote in people who are local that you know won't take the bribes and jump the shark. And as for the rest of it, um, if we run this government, uh, we can decide not to let anybody else run it. So whatever evil forces you might be thinking are actually doing this from behind the scenes would have to stop being behind the scenes and be much more overt. And every time anybody makes a challenge to this, you suddenly see pushback, as people call it on Twitter. Just want to point out, look at who does the pushback. That's that they're, they're being run by that, right? Or not? See, this isn't really all that simple. Uh, and the they you're referring to is us. We all contribute to this is we've all been fooled into believing one thing or another. You need to look at every single thing a little bit differently, analyze it, see what's really going on as best you can. And always assume you can be wrong, please. You have to understand the U.S. and every branch has an office of special interests. I can't do that my bro thing, sorry. <clears throat> they are people who go out and feed conspiracy to cover up black budget attack. United States Air Force... Office of Special Interests, special agent such and such did this to somebody and they drove him crazy so he would think we were at war with aliens because he intercepted radio transmissions because he was close to a New Mexico Air Force Base. I'm going to have to look this up and I'm going to do a whole video on it. Thank you. And I pointed out that <clears throat> it really was a weather balloon at Roswell because it was. They literally told the truth and were surprised that people actually didn't ask them, well, what kind? They just assumed they were being lied to. It was an air, it was a weather balloon, excuse me, made to be a gigantic microphone. That's it. That's what they did. <clears throat> Ever think maybe spraying could be cloaking something? Or Julian Assange leaked nanotechnology and smart dust, as a meme, that satellites can track all the way down to footprints and cars, uh, when cars leave and how frequently? And that they just came out with a real-life shrink ray, but it only works on non-biological things? And then the person jumps this. You are all going down the disinfo path. I call it the rabbit hole to the outhouse. Not WAPTEC, though. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot most of the time. Sorry. The United States Air Force op Office of Special uh, Something or Interest <clears throat> admitted they fed the fire and even made fake documents. I didn't say it. You did. And the government isn't stupid. If it benefits them, they will let you run with it over spilling classified data. Or worse, having some damn reporter show up and say, Can I look at that material for a second and maybe take a photo? Nope. 
just get, just go to the UFO uh, reunion every few months. You know, no, go out there. Let them. You know, you know. <clears throat> they're not dumb people. They're not dumb people. Aliens. Okay, and let's get on to the next one. Are you confusing less than lethal ammunition? This would be sandbags, pellets, uh, pellet bags, <clears throat> uh, rubber bullets, um, lead shot sack, shotguns loaded with a uh, contained stuff that doesn't penetrate the skin with <clears throat> ammunition that does penetrate and expands rapidly because any soft tissue hit will be a mess because that's frangible ammunition. Now there's frangible ammunition, less than lethal, lethal ammunition, and then there's what I was talking about, and then there's expanding bullets. This is not considered an expanding bullet. <clears throat> I'm going to do this at the end of the video for a time. Let's get this pounded through here. But if you take a powdered metal, tin, copper, zinc, tungsten, or mix them together, tungsten is very heavy, and use them by compressing them at room temperature, sintering them, or heat treating them, or, or fusing them somehow, into high density material, but because of the spaces between or whatever you mix together, it ends up being a little bit lighter than a standard bullet. They're intended to reduce the risk to friendly forces and innocent persons during close quarter, quarter uh, military or police actions, usually in urban areas, because on impact with tissue, it creates a wound that's just like a bullet. But after it enters the tissue, it quote unquote disintegrates. This is not expanding or fragmenting, this is disintegration it goes back to being the consistency of shaker salt, which means it's really hard to get out of the wound. It can spread an infection from the surface of the skin in, or it may actually have bacteria on it because they don't really care when they make it unless it's uh, sintered and fused. It'll come apart. And it, and it literally, it's like literally sand and salt. Like, I'm not kidding. It is, it is literally as bad as that. It's not rubbing salt into a wound. It's making a wound using it. Or in this case, uh, it can be. It can also be ground glass. I've heard of all sorts of things, <clears throat> but I was not referring to any of those. They can cause serious wounds and persistent effects. Name those effects, but it's not from chemical poisoning, poisoning from metals usually. Um, a frangible round does that thing. It turns into powder, and when it goes in, it creates a poof of tissue that's been basically destroyed and has to be completely removed in some cases because it's so riddled with this sand or dust consistency material, then it aggravates the tissue permanently almost. So you just end up removing the entire cavity. There's another kind of bullet that creates large openings and closings in the tissue and creates shock waves. Sometimes it just creates one big one, sometimes it creates two, sometimes it creates a, a set of shock waves that is a standing wave and is resonant. That's another kind of ammunition. Another one is the one that they talk about tumbling. This was on a video where people were talking about the AR-15 is intended to actually cause exploding wounds. That's not really what's going on here. Um, in spite of what people have posted, and the constant memes from certain varieties of people, the, the, the point of that is that's not actually true, and that isn't an expanding wound under Geneva Convention or Hague Convention or international law because it isn't. Uh, the, uh, the Visualization. Here's a straight bullet, full metal jacket, and it might tumble if it's not perfectly done. It's supposed to be nose heavy and go in, but when it goes in, it can still torque. If it's rotating on its axis enough, it won't do it. Well, it still does it. You can't make it rotate so fast that it can't possibly tumble and spin and go off in directions. And if the bullet's light enough, it'll be influenced by the tissue enough that variations in the tissue will cause the bullet to go on a track that curves. The infamous 22 caliber non-rifled bullet, Bizarro Path, where you shoot someone and it goes in their shoulder and comes out their left foot. That's not just a joke, that's actually happened. It went spiraling down someone's leg, because it followed the blood vessel and blew the damn thing up. The person kept their leg, amazingly enough. I, 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 there's hundreds of cases like that uh, that have happened all over the world, anyway. Um, but anyway, that's a full metal jacket. The one where they jack it from the nose down and it's open at the back. So lead can leak out the back and you get some fragmentation. The other one is where they cup it from the bottom up and it forms a point, but they leave it open or they seal it up and fully enclose it. A true full metal jacket will do exactly what we're talking about. When it has an opening in the front, it can open up like this and comes to a stop and it does this sort of pattern in the tissue three-dimensionally usually uneven sizes, as symbolized by the different size fingers, and usually spreading out like that because each piece now acts like a, an unrifled bullet going off on some weird track. And in the process of going through, it may create a temporary wound channel, 
and cause mechanical damage, but it will then seal up. Now, there's all sorts of ideals about how bullets are supposed to work, but when you hear people talk about it, and this was the point I made in the video, they talk about, and this is the people who talk about this most, whenever they talk about hollow point, boat tail, uh, uh, polymer tip, whatever, only a few of them will actually do that whole thing, I want an explosive response because I want a person's head to explode. I call them Hollywood mercenaries. Okay? Idiots. Um, I'm sorry, but there's one in every bunch. The majority of people I've met in person, and virtually everybody you see on YouTube, especially now that they're thinning out channels that are supposedly bad for everybody, they talk specifically about these bullets, including hollow points and the ones that we're talking about here from the Las Vegas shooting or any other shooting, not being a violation of the Hague Convention. They don't expand. That's not the same thing as the expanding in the 1880s since. Expanding bullet, if you want to know about it, goes in like this and then suddenly turns into something shaped almost like a quarter that pushes the tissue and creates a big wake behind it and does fragment. And you can talk about the memes about square bullets or cube-shaped bullets or shooting dice at people. Okay? All right. Let's get back to what this was about. They talk about, and that's what my assertion was, everybody I see who talks about this is only concerned with two things. If I shoot somebody on purpose and hit them, I want them to drop and not be able to hurt me. Either that they leave because they're in pain and they run away and they go to the hospital so they're easily caught because they've got to go to the hospital to get the damn thing out. Or if it goes, if it hits them and goes through them and doesn't deliver enough energy and punch to them, I just want them to leave. But I don't want it going through a wall and killing my kid or killing the next door neighbor. And you'll also hear them say occasionally, that guy on that other channel who talks about explosive wounds and how awesome it is to be a badass operator, they use that word for some reason, they tell everybody on the camera, that guy's an idiot because I don't want somebody shooting next door trying to get rid of a burglar and the bullet coming through and hitting me. It should not go through more than one or two walls. A frangible bullet would stop in one wall or hit a person hypothetically and not go any further. These bullets that stop in a wall usually do this, or they break off into two pieces or something, <coughs> or they'll splat, pancake, and part of it will be a flattened piece, and the other part will break off, and you'll get some fragmentation. The frangible bullets the guy's talking about turn into something that, I'm sorry, but I've looked at, uh, I, I went and looked this up, because I forgot all about these. I they're so weird, nobody really uses them. They're almost impossible to clean out of a person. And like I said, they will just remove a section of tissue to get rid of this if it becomes a problem. You can flush the wound, you can try to clean the wound, but you're ending up with a chunk of hamburger to remove. So yeah, I did, wasn't talking about that. Um, there is something called a, not a frangible, but a glazier round, which is very similar. <coughs> I might have alluded to by accident. Sorry about that. <coughs> but like I said, responsible gun owners are not. Most of them also don't want to hit the wrong target. And they know they can miss. Unless you're an idiot, you assume you can miss. If you miss, you want it to stop and not hit anybody beyond your line of sight. That's what that video was about. That part of it the person's commenting on. Let's move on. <coughs> this could apply to any mass shooting. No one ever seen anyone shoot anyone, so it's always an alleged shooter. Every goddamn bit of it. What are we going to do about this? Talk about it forever or fix it? Or do something? So, because someone didn't witness the shooter doing it, but every other blasted piece of information points at them, you're giving them wiggle room so that you can make them either a martyr or exonerate them. Okay. Nobody witnessed the conception of Jesus Christ, therefore he was not born. I can be as hard line about this as you do. Don't like that comparison? Do you have any real world physical evidence? Any current witnesses? No? We can play this all day. Uh, Animal Lanza, the beast, uh, after killing a bunch of children, was found on the location. Uh, Las Vegas, we Paddock was found. Both of them killed themselves, I think it was, um, after they did their evil thing. We don't have to prove beyond your idea of a shadow of a doubt that this happened. I'm sorry, but that's an unreasonable dang reach. They're not alleged shooters. And no, you don't have to prove that Lee Harvey Oswald is guilty of murder after the fact. We don't have any other suspects, and he left, he did leave evidence behind. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to pick at it or not, whether you want to be his defense attorney or not, and Paddock and Animal Lands and everybody else, doesn't change. Those are the ones who did it. 
Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck.